How do and welcome to a bit more Yorkshire Brass with me, David Hoyle. Thanks for joining me for show number 131. Yes, 131 in our online series. We started today with music by Richard Strauss. In fact, he's going to appear twice, Richard Strauss, in today's programme. The Yorkshire Imperial Band were playing a piece of mystical music, as I call it. I find it fabulous, this music. And it apparently... The title is pronounced Alzo Sprach Tarathustra, just to let you know. Lots of requests to get through today. I've got a great subject for you as well. It's about food. We're back on the food trail. You might uh, you might just like to know that. The first march of the week has been chosen by Kevin in Sheffield. Kev, thanks for this. Lovely to hear from you. And uh, more Sousa, please, says young Kevin. The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band are playing your choice here. King Cotton. <laughs> Another Susan masterpiece, absolute classic march. King Cotton was the title of that one, played by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band for Kevin in Sheffield. We're going to Old Woodley near Leeds next, and to Mark and Julie. We love the show, thank you very much for doing it. We know how, it, how much it means to you and all the listeners out there. Um, yes, it absolutely does, uh, and I've said this before, I don't do things in brass banding for money. Uh, there is no money involved. There is no monetization on this program. I simply am a brass band enthusiast like you, and I love to share your requests on my my program. That's simple as that. Simple as that. Mark and Julie, thank you very much for the lovely words. We would like to choose an overture which we believe is underplayed. I totally, totally agree with you on this one. This is by Rossini, and the Yorkshire Building Society Band are playing your choice, The Journey to Reims. <laughs> Thank you. 
This week's overture, Il Viaggio a Reims, The Journey to Reims by Rossini was played brilliantly by the Yorkshire Building Society band. Mark and Julie in Old Woodley made that choice. If you would like to make a choice, there are a couple of ways to get in touch. The best way is by email, always, yorkshirebrass at gmail.com. Um, you can also pop your request into the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. Uh, if you're not a member of that, by the way, well... You can be, simple. You just go onto Facebook, look up Yorkshire Brass, you'll see my pictures on there with all sorts of things that I've done in brass banding, and you just send us a, a request to join the list. It's as simple as that. Next up, a birthday request. Trevor Wood's been in touch to say that his lovely wife, Denise, has her birthday uh, this week, and can we do this request, please? With love from all the family and best wishes, of course. We absolutely can. Someone else who has a birthday, as Trev well knows, is, is my mum. Yes, and he always asks how my mum's doing. And, uh, yeah, my mum has her birthday this week as well. So, ladies, this is for both of you. Um, Trev says, any chance uh, of our Jason? Well, this is their son-in-law, Jason Evans, playing with the Marsden Silver Prize Band, an arrangement by Gordon Langford. My love is like a red, red rose. Happy birthday, ladies.
The great sound of Jason Evans with the Marsden Silver Prize Band playing Gordon Langford's arrangement of My Love Is Like a Red Red Rose. Happy birthday to Denise Wood from all of your family, from Trevor and the family. Uh, and also, happy birthday to the Duchess, my mum. Have a lovely day. Next up, Karen in Walsall. We're playing this music in our band at the moment and it's just made me realise how good Henry Mancini was as a composer. Uh, and I wonder if you'd share this with the listeners. There are some brilliant stuff in this particular piece, says Karen, and we are thoroughly enjoying it. Happy to do this for you, Karen. The Travel Sphere Holidays Band are indeed playing the music of Henry Mancini, and it's called, in this arrangement, A Touch of Mancini. <laughs> we 
touch of Mancini, the music of Henry Mancini, played by the Travel Sphere Holidays Band there for Karen, who is in Walsall. Karen emailed YorkshireBrass at gmail.com. Simple as that. Popped a request in, and there we go. Now then, what am I going rabbit in on about today? I love your feedback always about the music, and it's interesting to see how many of you actually come along and say your weekly subject that you talk about just gives another slant on the programme rather than it just being all music. Thanks for that. You know, I do like to talk about things, uh, particularly food, as as you as you've guessed. Uh, and I've got a list today of things which have got unusual names, but some of them sound really, really good. Um, I'm going to start with one called a Dutch baby. It's also interestingly called a hoot nanny as well, uh, and predominantly served as you as you would guess in the Netherlands. It's a baby pancake, it's sweet, and it looks like a sort of oversized individual portion of a Yorkshire pudding. So it probably is a Yorkshire pudding that's got sugar in it, or has sugar added, or cinnamon added on, whatever. Uh, but the next time I'm in Holland, I'm going to try a Dutch baby. Oh yes, and, and we'll just see what it's filled, filled with. Uh, probably something sweet, because they are sweet, but I will have a go at one of those. Fairy bread. Now, here's an interesting one. I had to check this one out with one of our listeners down under. Uh, but apparently, it is genuine. Just imagine a, a slice, a normal slice of white bread. It's then buttered. And then on top of the butter are sprinkled the, the coloured hundreds and thousands that you would put on top of a bun. Now, apparently, the story with this is that fairy bread is served at children's parties down under in Australia and New Zealand and it, it's the done thing I didn't realize I don't mind hundreds and thousands and I like those things you know on a an ice lolly I can't remember the name of it nobbly bobbly or something like that it's called I like to have one of those as well uh, fiddleheads well when I read this I thought this sounds like the end of a, a violin um, but apparently this is in America and it is curled edible parts of certain ferns no thanks no thanks um, and, and a brown betty this, I'll try this one a brown betty this is a baked pudding with either apple or mixed fruits and breadcrumbs and on top of that you put cream or custard well if it's a warm pudding it has to be custard simple as that uh, more of those in a little while what's coming up next now we're going to carlisle to robert and joan this piece of music means so much to us and to the people of cumbria we would like to hear the brass band version of john peel if at all possible absolutely no problem at all this arrangement is by the great fred mortimer and the cws glasgow band are playing
It's a terrific melody, that, isn't it? John Peel, the arrangement was by Fred Mortimer and the CWS Glasgow Band, playing for Robert and Joan, and as they say in their email, everyone in Cumbria. Lovely. Our next soloist of the week, this is on the baritone. Lee and Darby's been in touch saying, what a lovely piece of music this is. I wonder if you could find me an arrangement of Paul Lovett Cooper's Donegal Bay, please. I love this piece, and um, it's something that I won't play because I don't play the baritone, but every time we play this in our band, it really just makes me feel absolutely wonderful. This is a, a super recording with the Rothwell Temperance Band with the accompaniment to a very popular soloist, popular man in brass banding. His name is Andy Padgett. Here we go with Donny Bay. What a lovely piece of music that is. Donny Gold Bay by Paul Lovett Cooper. Andy Padgett, the baritone soloist, and the Rothwell Temperance Band with the accompaniment. Lee and Darby sent that request in on the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. Dave's in Laban. Now then, 
How do I like? How do Dev? Um, this piece of music is synonymous with our area. Yes, absolutely, it is, and it's it's about a hundred years old, says Dave. Well, I'll tell you afterwards exactly how old it is when we've heard it. It comes in three parts, written by Arthur Wood and played here by the Hepworth Band. I really love this piece of music. It's timeless for me. It's called Three Dale Dancers. <laughs>
Three Dale Dancers by Arthur Wood. That transcription for Brass Band was by Sidney Herbert and played by the Hepworth Band for Dave in Laban. Says any idea on the date? I believe, Dave, that the original composition was made in 1924. The original publication was certainly then. So 22, 23, but 24 is when it first appeared. Thanks for the request. Let's go back to this list of, of foods. How about a Bedfordshire clanger? Now then. <whistles> No, not one of those clangers. Um, a Bedfordshire clanger is a, a soggy, um, suet roly poly type of a pasty in its proper form. Um, it has a savoury filling on one end and a sweet filling in the other. It's like a meal in one, so you'd get it. And then I'd probably just take a knife to the middle bit and cut it in two, eat the savoury bit first, and then have my pudding. That's good, isn't it? Bedfordshire clanger. And how about, um, how about a flapper pie? I'll, I'll, I'll be having some of this, I'll tell you. Flapper pie. Vanilla custard, but like an egg custard, with meringue and a cinnamon cracker base. That sounds absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love cinnamon. I love vanilla custard and meringue as well, so it's just got to work. A flapper pie. Cinnamon. Cinnamon base, vanilla custard on top, and meringue on top of that. Um, this is a drink. A fuzzy navel. Oh, dear. Um, funny name, but it's a very ordinary drink in the respect that it's just peach schnapps and orange juice. But it's called a fuzzy navel. How about a garbage plate? Doesn't sound very nice. Uh, it's like some of the things that you see on social media, and I'm sure half of these things that people put on, uh, they do it to wind people up. They do it for a reaction because some of the things that go on social media that people have cooked, I wouldn't put my name to. Absolutely not. Anyway, a garbage plate. Here's what's on a garbage plate. It can vary, but this is the one that I picked up. French fries and baked beans topped with hot dogs or cheeseburgers or both. That doesn't sound right garbage to me. That sounds pretty good. Uh, and the final one, you can just hear Leslie Phillips going, Ding dong! These are called ding dongs. Um, they are a small sized chocolate cake with a white cream filling roughly the size of an ice hockey puck ding dongs i'll try one of them if i see them i get the feeling they may be american what's next next up oh yes we're at the time of the week now where we have uh, a slow request this is for stella in norton tower in halifax she says i'd love to hear Derek broadbent's arrangement of this particular piece by dmitry shostakovich this is played by the Freckleton Band. It's called Romance from the Gadfly. <laughs>
The Freckleton Band, this week's thoughtful piece. The thoughtful piece before the halfway in a bit more Yorkshire Brass with me, David Hoyle. Romance from the Gadfly by Dmitry Shostakovich. The arrangement for Brass Band was by Derek Broadbent, good friend of the show, and it was chosen by Stella in Norton Tower in Halifax. Becca in Greenfield, what a lovely piece of music you've chosen to take us to just about halfway this week. This piece of music, when it's played, well, when it's played anywhere, is brilliant, but when it's played in a hall with some resonance and fabulous acoustic, it just absolutely comes off its ace. Um, it's the last movement of, of a suite of pieces um, from John Bull and arranged by Elgar Howarth. Uh, I've played this on a couple of occasions, I've listened to it on many occasions, and each time I just smile. I love this. Becker in Greenfield, thanks for choosing this one. The United Co-op Yorkshire Band are playing the King's Hunting Jig. <laughs> The United Co-op Yorkshire Band were playing The King's Hunting Jig by John Bull. The arrangement for Brass Band was by the great Elgar Howarth and requested by Becker in Greenfield. Another classic coming up now as we start the second part of this week's programme. And uh, this is for Stephen. Stephen lives in Manila, in the Philippines. How lovely to hear from you, Stephen. Um, it's a while since we had uh, email contact and you've picked an absolutely cracking piece to start the second part of this week's online concert that's the way I like to describe it this is another Gordon Langford arrangement uh, this music is by Rossini and the fairy band are playing this time La Danza <laughs> Thank you. 
I think everybody knows that melody, but not necessarily its title. It's called La Danza by Rossini, arranged by Gordon Langford and played for Stephen in Manila in the Philippines by the Fairy Band. Next up, uh, another march. This is one of my favourite marches played at Whit Friday by some of the higher ranked bands. Um, I, I can put this one in again for my mum. It's, it's a birthday, you know. Did you know it was my mum's birthday this week? Um, but it's, it's also being played for Terry. Terry is in Huddersfield and it is his favourite march. This is played on this occasion by the Ashton Under Lime Band and it's the music of George Allen. It's called The Wizard. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Wizard by George Allen, a fabulous march played there by the Ashton Underline Band for Terry in Huddersfield. Now, a lovely email uh, coming with the next request. We're having a soprano cornet solo here. Uh, and Timothy has been in touch. Lovely to hear from you. And, and uh, Timothy says, I'm typing from the offices of United Flags in Oldham. How very dare you. Um, we have Brass Friday every week. Brass Friday, well, that's a new one. I've heard of Fizz Friday. And I've heard of Farmer's Friday, um, but Brass Friday, that's great. It used to be just from various online sources, but we now listen to about three episodes each week of your back catalogue. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Timothy says we have an office birthday on the 30th of October. It's the last year of his 50s for my E-flat bass playing boss, Ian Temple Heald. So if we could have some Peter Roberts played, that would be marvellous. Ian will be away in the Spanish Island on a cruise. How dare you be away for your birthday? Um, but me and Pedro will be listening and Ian will catch it online wherever and whenever. Thanks for all the great brass and chatter, Timothy. Lovely. Well, this is Peter Roberts. Not sure if, you've, if you will have heard this piece of music before, um, but Peter made a recording with brass band Beisingen. And this music is by Stephen Buller. It fascinates me. It absolutely fascinates me, does this solo. It's called The Higher Plane. <laughs> Thank you. 
exemplary as always from the great Peter Roberts. He was playing there with Brass Band Beisingen and the music of Stephen Buller, The Higher Plane, requested by Timothy, who was at work in Oldham, for his boss, E-flat bass playing boss, Ian Temple Heald. Happy birthday, Ian. Uh, and interestingly, an E-flat bass player requesting something played by a soprano cornet player. That's very unusual. It's always a bit of a love, it, it, you know, love-hate relationship or it's perceived to be so, but obviously not always. Next up, we're going to Sue in Burnley, and this is another one of those requests that says, my band is playing this piece of music at the minute. Can you give it a run? We're just only starting with it. And we'd like to hear another band and just how it's played. Well, that's how I learn a lot of mine, to be honest. I listen to recordings. Um, this uh, is by Hendler and Flanagan and arranged by Jack Pebbody for Brass Band, and the Stocksbridge Band are playing for you, Sue in Burnley. It's called Hot Toddy. <laughs> Jack Pebbody's arrangement of Hot Toddy was played by the Stocksbridge Band for Sue in Burnley. Good luck with that with your band. It's really nice and uh, a joy to play, I'm sure. Um, let me go through three more things on this list. 
In fact, no, I'll do just two for now. A Hopping John. This is another food that um, I've not heard of. But this consists of peas, rice, chopped onion and bacon. And it's all salted. And so it's, it's, it sounds a bit like a paella, doesn't it? Hopping John, it's called. Um, and the next one is called uh, Hush Puppies. I thought they were shoes. Um, but over the pond, they are small, savoury doughnuts with a cornmeal-based batter. Hush Puppies. Next up, we're going to Morris in Bristol and the second piece of music composed in this week's programme by Richard Strauss. Well, it was not composed in this week's programme, but just the, the playing out of music composed by Richard Strauss. We, of course, started the programme with some of his music today. Morris says, I believe this was recorded by one of my local bands, the Sun Life Stand Show Band, and if you could play it by them on your programme, it'd make my day. Thanks for the show. Morris, thanks for the email. Here we go with this lovely piece of music, which is called Alazalen. Alazalen by Richard Strauss was played there by the Sun Life Stanshaw Band. Morris in Bristol believed that that had been recorded by his local band, his former local band, sadly no longer with us, of course. Um, but yes, 
And it's great. Lovely piece of music. Thanks for that one, Maurice. YorkshireBrass at gmail.com was the email address that you used. We're going from one classic to another now. Well, to a series of classics, actually, in a montage. Will in Rochdale, another listener whose band are playing a certain piece of music and wants to hear it on the show if we've got a version. We absolutely have. Uh, this is played by our friends from Belgium, brass band Willybrook and Daryl Barry made the arrangement for Brass Band. It's a montage of all things Mozart, and Daryl called it the magic of Mozart. <laughs> Thank you. 
Daryl Barry's arrangement to the magic of Mozart, lots of Mozart's popular classics in there, almost fused together, hooked on classic style. Will in Rochdale chose that piece of music, his band is playing it at the moment, and brass band Willie Brook were playing. Time now for this week's test piece. Uh, Carlin Bolton has chosen this one. Uh, it's an Edward Gregson piece, so when you hear the name Edward Gregson, you just absolutely know, don't you, that it's going to be quality, quality music. It's played by the Yorkshire Building Society Band, so we know that's going to be good too. Carlin Bolton, thanks for your choice for this week's test piece, Variations on Laudate Dominum.
What a great listen that is. Variations on Laudato Dominum. This week's test piece by Edward Gregson was played by the Yorkshire Building Society Band for Carl, who is in Bolton. Thanks, Carl, for that request. I'm going to finish off this list now of strange named food and drinks. These are all foods. Um, how about the Imam Fainted? Really? The Imam Fainted. It's a whole aubergine. Well, that's me out. Um, stuffed with onion, garlic and tomato and cooked in olive oil, simmered in olive oil. The Imam Fainted. Goodness me. A Juicy Lucy. Oh dear. Um, well, this is very straightforward. A Juicy Lucy is a burger stuffed with cheese inside it. I've seen a few of these around and they're really nice. You don't have the cheese on top of the burger, but it's actually made with it in the middle. So as the burger's cooking, the cheese is cooking with it and, and melts perfectly. A Juicy Lucy. Absolutely brilliant. The final one, and I'm going to read this out as I would read it. It's called a poo poo platter. Oh, oh dear. It could well be a pew pew platter, but Barney McGrew, Cuthbert Dibble, and Grubber nowhere to be seen. Um, but this is an assortment on a tray of either American, Chinese, or Hawaiian foods. So they're appetizers. Horses douvres, as my grandma used to call them. Yeah, the small meat and seafood appetizers. A bit like tapas, I suppose, really. Uh, but they're called poo poo platter, I'm told, is the proper pronunciation. What a way to finish off telling you about strange named food and drinks. Another subject next week. In tune time now, penultimate piece in this week's programme. This is for Jill in Linthwaite. My favourite hymn tune, and do you have a version by the Brighouse and Rastrick Band? We do, absolutely. This is by Handel Parker, and this week's hymn tune, chosen by Jill in Linthwaite, is Deep Harmony.
the Brighouse and Rastrick band playing Handel Parker's Deep Harmony. This week's hymn tune was chosen by Jill in Linthwaite. Thanks again for all of your requests, your dedications this week. So well received and we'd love to hear from you. Yorkshirebrass at gmail.com or look up Yorkshire Brass on Facebook and send the request in that way. Thanks from me, David Hoyle, for listening once again. This was show number 131 in our online series. 132 coming next week. And we're finishing today with uh, an I was there moment. This is from Barry in Huddersfield. He says, I was there, Oily, and so was thee. Aye, I was. I absolutely was there at this event and, uh, and th- thoroughly enjoyed the first half and actually played in the second half. It was in March of 2017 and it was to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the floral dance. The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band were joined by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Reunion Band in the second half and um, played a series of pieces of music which Derek Broadbent conducted. I was honoured to be asked to play uh, in that second half to represent members of the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band who was sadly no longer with us or were unable to play any longer. I enjoyed every single minute of it. It was a memorable evening and we played this particular piece of music which Barry has asked for. Barry says, I remember one part of this when all the front Cornet bench, and you were sat there, yes I was, I was on the front row, um, and there was a run of semi-quavers from a, a bottom F upwards and they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it, says Barry. It was perfect. Have a listen in this recording. Thanks again. Uh, We'll see you next week. We finish today with Tchaikovsky's March Slav. Ta-ra!
Thank you.